coin on. Hey there, YouTube coin community. It's Dustin with CoinOp, and today we are going to take a look at some Buffalo Nickel Two Feathers varieties. So let's dive right on in. Now for this video, we are going to discuss the Buffalo Nickel Two Feather varieties. Now there are a bunch of different ones. I do believe that there are somewhere around 30 different two feathered varieties amongst the Buffalo Nickels. And there's also two and a half feather varieties, but I don't believe a lot of the third party coin grading companies recognize those. So we're not even going to talk about those. We're going to talk about the two feather varieties. Now what the two feather variety is, is when you are looking at the obverse, the front of a Buffalo Nickel, when you are looking at the profile, you will notice that the Indian has two big feathers and then underneath the second feather, there's a really small third feather. Well, on some of these, as they're trying to preserve the life of the dye, they over abraded some of the dyes and they polished away the third feather. So on some of the various years with the Buffalo Nickels, you can find two feathered varieties. Now the two feather varieties over the years have started to become very very popular. People really enjoy these. Now this is a wonderful variety because you do not need any kind of magnification to see this. You can see this clear as day just by glancing at it with the naked eye, especially on a nicer graded buffalo nickel. Really low grades, sometimes it can be tough, especially if one has been ground recovered or is damaged to it. It could be a little difficult, but once they're very fine or above, I mean, you can just spot this clear as day when you are looking at one. Now, you should be looking at various examples of two feather varieties that uh, are popping up on the screen. As I said, there are many years for these, so I strongly suggest if you collect buffalo nickels to go get out your buffalo nickels and just glance over the obverse of each one because they have these for many, many of the years. Now, if you go over to NGC's Variety Plus, you can see a list of all of the various two feathered varieties that NGC does grade. And then if you're going through the PCGS price guide, if you click on each date and then go down to where it says uh, show varieties, a lot of these, they will list the two feather varieties, both PCGS and NGC, well, and of course, Annex, they do grade and certify the two feathered varieties. Now there are price differences. Some of them are pretty scarce. Some of them are not. Just to give you an example, first of all, we are gonna head over to PCGS Price Guide and we are gonna take a look at the values for a 1916 two feathers variety. So we're taking a look at 1916 Buffalo Nickel Two Feathers variety listed as FS402. Now this one PCGS puts a values on this one on a PCGS graded example in really, really, really low grades. They start out at around $30, but in super nice high uncirculated grades like in the MS65 uncirculated, they sell for around $1,250. Now there is auction results posted down there of an example that sold for $1,100 in an MS-65 condition. So that definitely carries more value than if it was not a two feathers variety, but the 1916 two feathers is much more common than take for example this 1918 Buffalo Nickel. This is a two feathers variety. This one is listed as FS401. Now this one is much more scarce than the 1916. So if you had a 1918 that was graded certified by PCGS, you can expect them to trade anywhere in super, super low grade for around $50 and all the way up in a nice high uncirculated grade, you can find these trading upwards of $13,000. There is an MS64 PCGS graded example that sold in heritage coin auctions for $12,925. Because this one is much more scarce and rarer, it carries much more of a premium than that 1916 FS402 that we were previously looking at. 
So if you do have a two feathers variety, I strongly suggest doing some research before you put it on the market, because just like with any other coin, it all depends on the scarcity and of course the grade of your coin to determine value. Now when determining value for things such as your two feathers variety buffalo nickels, or if you would just like more information on them, I will post a link to NGC's Variety Plus so that you can at least take a look and see all the different varieties that NGC at least would grade. And then I found this wonderful website that I uh, just recently found. I will post links to it. And uh, this guy has a whole bunch of information on a bunch of various varieties with the Buffalo Nickels, especially the Two Feathers. So I will also post a link to this guy's website. I don't know the name of the website. I just happened to stumble across it while I was doing some research and I just thought this is just a plethora of very useful information. So I will link this website down there in the comments. So if you'd like more information, go check all those things out. If you would like to see more images of these, you can always go onto eBay. There's always a bunch of different Buffalo Nickel Two Feather varieties listed there. And if you ever are looking for a book, a reference book that would list the most popular Buffalo Nickel Two Feather varieties, well, list the most popular varieties in general, I strongly would suggest getting a hold of the Cherry Pickers Guide to Coins, especially the first volume, the one that deals with half cents, large cents, small cents, and five cent pieces, because that would have your Buffalo Nickels. Now they do list the most popular two feathered varieties in those books, along with pictures and market values. So I strongly suggest checking that out. Well, there you go, everybody. There's some information on Buffalo Nickel Two Feather varieties. So as I had stated, while you are coin searching, if you're lucky enough to find any Buffalo Nickels while coin searching, which does happen from time to time, but it's pretty rare, make sure you definitely take a look and see if it's a Two Feather variety. And then also, while you are at it, if you have any Buffalo Nickels, make sure you go take a look at the adverse of them. You do not need magnification to see this. Just go glance them over, see if you happen to have a wonderful two feather variety. Or if you're like me, I like to buy up call junk buffalo nickels, the dateless buffalo nickels. I buy them in bulk because I like to make the acid dates. I like to pull the dates out and see what's there. So if you're like me and you buy up the junk dateless buffalo nickels, check them for two feather varieties. I myself have found quite a few over the years just by doing that. Well, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, do us a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. The more that you interact with our channel, the more it encourages YouTube to share our content with more and more people. Also by subscribing. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, click on that subscribe button. And while you're at it, click on the bell. That way you get notified immediately when we upload new content. Well, everyone, until next time, have fun.